Hey, listen up. We got another episode of Wise Cracks. Featuring the crack man himself, Bill Krakenberger. And our co-host, John Orlando. Straight from Las Vegas. Wise Cracks is your ticket inside the world of sports betting. With tips, picks, special guests, and more. Only on WSN.com. Hey everybody, this is Wise Cracks. John Orlando here with Bill Krakenberger in studio for a record. I want to say four weeks in a row, but uh, don't least, quote me on that. At least. But I will be leaving right after the show. No! Yeah. For Super Bowl stuff. Yep. Or the big game stuff. Yeah, are we, all, are, are we allowed to say Super Bowl? Well, yeah, we, we could say it. But we could say can't, it. You can't yeah, write it. Can't, yeah, I can't. Here in Vegas, yeah. I am it's, flying to um, Foxwoods while well, I'm flying to Hartford, which is Foxwoods. Mohegan Sun, which is FanDuel and DraftKings. Yep. Then I'm driving to Boston tomorrow or the next day. Maybe maybe I'll drive there Friday. Boston for, for Encore. Encore and Barstool. They they don't have Wait, app Barstool betting. has an actual walk in yes, sports book. Yes. They don't they don't have an app. They don't the app betting's not there. They you have a book you can walk up to and bet. Really? A hotel too? Yep. The Barstool Sportsbook well, and Casino. No, it's called a it's Called something else. So. Oh, okay, okay. But Lake, Barstool is Lake the, the sports book like, yeah. there. Got right. it. Uh, right. Go back to Foxwoods for a second. What's nicer now, Foxwoods or Mohegan? Ooh, I like them both. You do? I do. I probably like Mohegan better. I have not I been to Mohegan, Mohegan so. in, since... Yeah. I don't even know if you remember these days when there was no hotel. Wasn't your dad just there or something? Yeah. I see, right? He now, does the yeah. arena, like oh, oh, yeah. 16,000 or something yeah. crazy. I have not been to Mohegan since they built the hotel... And the little mall and all that. Last time I was at the Mohegan was just a casino, no hotel. Oh wow. That's wow. like nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, and that, that arena is amazing. I've seen Ozzy in that arena, I've seen Kiss in that arena, I've seen Van Halen in that arena. I love that you go see Ozzy. Uh, yeah. Have and you watched the uh documentary on Motley Crue yet on oh, yeah. Netflix? Is it good? Yeah, great. I haven't watched it yet. I'm, I mean we were Motley Crue Motley Crue right. fans when I was a kid. Okay. Um but yeah, for, uh Springsteen's coming there too. I seen on this this Springsteen's on tour. He's going to could be in the. Uh, I think I seen Mohegan. I seen somewhere either Mohegan or Fox. I think it was Mohegan. Yeah, it was. It was Mohegan's son. He's going All to right. Be in the same so you're arena. gonna same stage your dad was on. I like that. Yeah. So you're gonna make the casino rounds yes. for Super Bowl. Yes. Big looking game for some this Sunday. Props. Uh, looking for some different type of props and props and. Uh, Do you have them all already? I have half some. of them. Listen, mm, mm, uh, no, no, I, I didn't bet half. I oh wow, literally. 75% of my bets will come on Sunday. Really? Will be the unders on a lot of the player props. Under yardage, under... Um, and that's because you want to see... I did him. bet Hurts under, though. I bet Hurts under yards already. I thought I seen that starting to move. Surprised me. I thought Hurts yards would stay the same. And, you know, the, the public... But he's not one of those aggressive passers. And he's right. not a Mahomes type. So... So when you say... I hit under, so I jumped on the under. When there. you say it, they won't come till Sunday, meaning you want to see how they shake out, how the I want to see those little. Out. I want to see those little bets come in, fifty, hundred dollar bets come in, and in bulk that equals so much money. The books are forced to move on the unders. Move, move I'm sorry, move to force the, the book the line up. So I come in on the unders on a lot of them. Not just blindly. I have certain players that I'm. Hoping reach a certain amount of, of yards. Got it. So there's certain players that you're hoping the yeah. line moves to a certain number, yes. and that's when you pounce. Early overs on the overs normally, and late on the unders. That's the way it normally works. Got it. Um, yeah. So it should be good. The the lines anywhere from one and a half to two now. It's actually two. The total now 51. Expecting a high scoring game. Um, I you know I I have to tell you though, um, I need a low scoring game. I'll tell you right now. I mean. I've never had a losing Super Bowl because you really shouldn't lose if you're making a hundred different prop bets uh, on volume and, and and variance. But the lower the score, it's probably going to be better for me. Okay. Yeah, the lower the score, the that better. That seems risky, like that. But that's the way yeah. those games always but, work, but, right? But I, I have overs and I have other situational props and things that don't require unders. And to be real blunt. I, I've seen games score 51 points and 55 points that I'm still winning on the unders because I'm targeting key certain players, and it just so happens that they stayed under. They don't all go over. So. And you don't care who wins the game. doesn't matter. You're not You're not. Listen, I, I bet the Eagles early plus one and a half. How dare you? As, and, a, um, as a Cowboy fan, that's like a dagger through yeah. my heart. Well, I mean, that's a, that's just the math of the game. Now it's, now it's minus one and a half. Minus two at a couple places in town. So... 
Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, um, reading some stats our producers wrote up here. These are crazy stats. Yeah. Re- you want to read them? Go ahead. No. Uh, okay. Uh, Patrick Mahomes has started 93 games in his career. In those games, the Chiefs have either held a lead or been within one score in the fourth quarter 90 times. That's 90 sick. out of 93 times. That is unbelievable. That's really unbelievable. This guy's never this out of the fight. It's going to be that close of a, of a, of a game, too, hopefully. I, that's what I would, I would think. I think that's what they're predicting. I kind of agree. I think uh, um, anyone can win the game. And that's not where the money is, either, is, is, is in the, the betting the side of the total. The money's in these secondary markets like proposition bets and novelty props and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, just in his record, eh, you know. I, I, I really, I'm not big on... It means on, nothing, the these, these records mean right. nothing to me. I'm not even going to read them, the, the records, because they're really nothing. Um, being Seven and one, and one as an underdog. Yeah, this, this is not really even an underdog. I mean, it's like, right. it's pick them. It's one. You know, I mean, it's just uh, uh, the, the most uh, Super Bowl correct score. Uh, okay, wait, what's he saying there? Oh, the most bet on the tickets of a Super Bowl correct score, Eagles 37-34. That's, 70, that's 71 points. Uh, you should get 80 to one. Um Anyway, uh, yeah, see these things. I'm not real. 1991 to 2000. Underdogs were just one and nine outright in the <coughs> Super Bowl. Since, um, I hate trends though to begin with that go back more than one season. I need. I stuff agree because it's irrelevant. Year. It's irrelevant. Different squads. I know. I, I, they know. do that in baseball all the time. The they Dodgers do. against the yeah. uh, you know Colorado Rockies yeah. all time. Like it means. What does that mean? It means. Speaking nothing of baseball, I know it's not baseball season. I'm but sorry. It's close. Someone sent me something today. My. God, and this is back when you'll 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 get it. Yeah, this was Dave Parker in right field <laughs> for Pittsburgh, yeah, yeah, throwing sure. out someone at the home plate, throwing Damn. out someone. I mean, how can that be Pittsburgh then? How can that be Gary Carter at the plate? I actually sent this to somebody. Um, it was All Star unbe- Game. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. It was an All Star Game. That's what I remember it, was. it. I remember it. Yep. Look, 1979 All Star Game. Yeah. I mean, on the fly. Dave Parker was on the beast fly? number 39. I yeah. mean, how can he? T- I'm just showing the guys. Yeah. That, look, look at that. Gary Carter. Insane. Gary Carter. He threw was him a... out on the fly yeah. from right field. Yeah. God, I remember Dave Parker was so good. One of the so best. So good. Oh, my God. But anyway, I just off subject there. I, lo- I love the old baseball. And so it's, that's a follow on Twitter that I really like, too. I, well, one more Super quick. 70s. I know we're on Super Bowl, but real quick, yeah. another baseball f- fun one that I, I have. Pete Rose could return to baseball, go 750 for 750, and Tony Gwynn would still have a higher batting average. Wow. That's sick. 750 at bats, 750 hits if Pete Rose came back, and Tony Gwynn still has a higher average. That's how good Tony Tony Gwynn was. Why doesn't he get the... the, I don't know, but that's a crazy stat. Uh, Okay, let's go back to the business at hand. Uh, Yeah, yeah, fun with props. Um, No, just... Yeah, we're yeah some fun with props and some things we're doing... um, uh, listen, John, you love prop betting yourself. I, I think, do. Right? I do. Um, because of you. Yeah. I mean, they just came about really the last 30 years and 20 years really with, with a, um, you know, ridiculous amount, a plethora, let's call it. of. Right. I mean, some of these books have 900 prop bets. That's sick. Now, That's sick. what about if you're, if you're not betting online at DraftKings yeah. or FanDuel stuff? Do the casinos that you walk into here, because I have a lot of friends coming to town for Super Bowl this yeah. weekend, so are there still good prop options? Yeah, sure, sure. What's the best Where place? are you going for the game? Home. Oh, We're home. just having people over good, to the house. Good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, sure, there's, there's, you can walk up. Is that what you're saying? Walk like what, up to yeah, the what sports, but where should I take them to bet props? I mean, you can go anywhere. By your house anywhere? is fine. Yeah, one of the stations, casinos. Red fine. Rocks. Okay. Yeah, Even sure. You hate that word. I do. But yeah. I mean, I'll give them. I'll give them credit though. They're they 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 cater to the square public. That's great. Okay. And they have good lines for them too. They do. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I recommend if anyone comes to this town and you're just coming in for like a week vacation or something, five days. You better get the stations app. See, I like that you're, even though they're the enemy they for you. They are the enemy for me. You call a spade a spade. I but like that, Bill. You got to have the stations app. They're so square. They have such good, not so square, but they have some slow moving lines. They take a, they take a bet from the public. Um, no, you should have the stations app. You should have um, some different apps in town. You may want to have the win too. The win uh, is a good app. They have lots of really, I found, I found so many plays at the win. Even South Point, I found a lot of plays. I, mean, I found a lot of plays this week so far. Yeah. But I really didn't pounce on too many things yet. Um, the, the first Super Bowl prop that that people remember here, 1986, this was this almost started it really. This is going on almost 40 years ago. 
Caesars Palace give out 20, 20 to 1 odds on the William the Refrigerator Perry scoring a touchdown during the Super Bowl. Wow. That I was just that. so bad. And then, of course, the fridge. Um, you know, listen, he, he scored twice during the regular season. Coach Dicka said he would not deploy the defensive tackle as a running back in the game. Dicka changed his mind. Of course, Caesars took a hit. But that left my man Walter Payton out. Yeah. Sweetness, man. Yeah, sweetness. Come on. Number 34. How can you not? Number 34. I, I, Dicka literally, um, you really messed up there. Um, not not letting the, one of the greatest running backs, if not the greatest of all time. Wisecracks, one of the great. Wisecracks alumni Willie Galt was oh, on yeah. that team. Yeah, that's 85 right. 85 Bears. Yep, he, he's the one that wrote right? the, that got the song. Um, Super Bowl Shuffle. Super Bowl Shuffle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you want to read a betting tip? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, number one, one the, the 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 one that's number one there is a giant one for everybody. Check out the numbers of Mahomes as we approach kickoff. There is still a bit of lingering questions about his health, but only he knows truly how much it will affect him. The passing numbers started out low and have creeped up, crept up, I guess, uh, as the week has gone on. But but he's had two weeks. Let me just tell you. If anything showed us anything, he was healthier than the public and the media thought last game. I agree. He's going to be even closer to 100% now. I agree. Even though his stats are his, – his his number, his prop number is like 288.5, 290.5. Normally it would be 310. So you're getting a little bit built-in advantage there based on the public and even the books thinking, yeah. oh, he's not going to play like he normally plays. Yeah, I – Well, I, he's I don't play, agree. But yeah, I don't adrenaline, agree. Adrenaline. I think he's Two gonna, weeks off. Yeah. Two weeks of them working on yep. it and shooting him up with cortisone, whatever they do, assuming yes. they do that, whatever, wrapping it. Yeah. He's going to be fine. I think he's going to be fine. So. Adrenaline's a real thing, man. Like, yeah. You can do a lot yep. on that. He's going to be amped up. I'll read you one. Miles Sanders, the Eagles running back. Yeah. The history shows he gets the bulk of the carries in closer games. But, you know, they just trust him more there. Now, this game is supposed to play out where it's going to be a closer game, yep. which I think will be in the backfield a lot more. Last two games, he did not hit his stats because he, he split the time. Uh, uh, between the two other guys, so um, I think this game he'll he'll be back there more, and I I like the over twelve and a half. I laid a dollar thirty five uh, over twelve and a half um, attempts. I think he'll be handing the ball a lot more in this situation. So there's an over I like because uh, overs like I said overs early. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, Super Bowl jitters. Yep. Do you buy into the jitters thing? They're professionals. I don't yeah, know. I agree. I don't think they're going to agree. Really, you know, maybe, I, maybe, but I, 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 I don't know. You know, sometimes games do start out a lot slower, though. I've seen over the years. Um, I actually made a bet at the win. It was only available. I know I've seen it at two different spots. Um, will there be more scoring in the fourth quarter than the first quarter? And uh, I laid a dollar seventy on it. And uh, I, I like that, but I'll tell you what, I hate laying a dollar seventy. It's not one of my strongest props, but it is a prop that I made. I think games start out a little bit slower. I think the public um, knows that these games start out a little bit slower. That's why the under six minutes has moved up to under no score in the first six minutes has moved to under six and a half minutes. And if you're if it is six or five and a half, you're gonna lay a lot of juice. So right, uh, just in case there is a play by one of these powerful offenses early. I'm not on that so much. Uh, I found other ways to strike like that. Um, even uh, more scoring in the second half than the first half. It used to be pick them, pick minus yeah. 110. No more. Yeah. Now second half scoring is minus fifty. Probably not willing to do that. I'm not I willing. feel like Mahomes comes out swinging. I he feel may. like he comes out and he just I, tries I, to connect I like, on a bomb. Yeah, first I, I, play. I think, I think uh, even though the Eagles have been a really good first half team this year, um, I think they're like twelve and five or something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, KC. Not that I like them in the first half, but I think maybe their team total, which I found that over eleven and a half at Caesars. I think it's over twelve and a half, and it's still probably a good bet. Oh, right. You know, the minus a dollar ten or something. I, I, yeah, I, I would have no problem. I think I think KC is going to score some points in the first half here. Uh, what about the officials? You know they've been under scrutiny uh, with all the late hits and, yeah. and, and the roughing calls. Well, after everything. last I mean, week's game, oh my God, they got crucified. It was on the front. Yeah, uh, like the it's New York the NFL papers fixed. on the front. Yeah. Everyone's saying right. it's fixed. Right, yeah. right. Well, listen, I, uh, I I talked about this earlier in the week too. I think they may swallow their whistles a little more in this game. Uh, also, a unique bet I found to Las Vegas was at South Point was 
Will there be roughing the passer called? No, laying another dollar seventy there. I just don't think that's going to be called in this game. Um, situation, I think they, I think they're going to be told to let them play a little bit more. Yeah. So, but maybe I'm, I could be wrong. Uh, it, there's a prop under. I don't know if it's under ten and a half or uh, penalties. I, I would probably lean to the under there too, even though I didn't. Um, I, I met a little peanut bet on that because I seen it minus a dollar ten. But um, there's so many ways to get at this game. Like, oh my god, there's so many ways to bet. There's so many more advantages than betting the side or total. Yeah. Uh, but l- let's get into UFC real quick because last week was like I think like literally one of the first weeks I've ever sent you anything on UFC. You did. Yeah. You did. You told me. Uh, well, should I say what you yeah. sent? Yeah. Sure. You you sent me uh, uh, some info that you had that. Uh, well, you know what? Before. Let, let, let me read what I sent to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read Just it only, first. only because you know after that last guy, uh, you know. Right. Okay. No, no. Main event tomorrow. It's a good word that Lewis is. Yeah. Okay. He got. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll let you talk. talk. Yeah. I'll let you talk. If Act doesn't do anything stupid, he wins for fun. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He Little mauled total. him. Little Round one. For the we go from here. I haven't told anyone else. Well. Yeah, you know, this is. Uh, I sent it to you because that that, that was. We uh, don't need to mention. Yeah. The, it was, the listen, it was a. I don't. I'm not going to send you. Tip. I'm not going to send you a bet that I feel right. that I know the source it comes from, so and the source it, it came from info. is like seems like four, four and oh, four things he gave me all one easy. This was the fifth. Yeah. So easy um, round one. Yeah. I didn't even know till the next day I fell asleep. So I, didn't I know, know I sent you a text. Yeah. I was at the fight. I sent wow. you a text. Oh, I was here. Yeah, I didn't it was even here. know where it was. was at the apex. Betting thousands of dollars on something I don't. I got to drag you over there. And I hate laying that 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 price. It was like. You know, minus, by the way, I think I laid two twenty five. The night of the fight, it was minus three seventy. I would never. I, I can't lay three seventy on anything anyway. I just yeah. can't. But, would um, you ever come to a fight at the Apex? Because it's invite only. It's a smaller crowd. It's yeah, really two hundred people. Sure. Yeah, let, let's VIP uh, status. Is that where you caught this little bird flu you got going? No, I don't know where I got the bird oh, okay. flu. All right. I, uh, Travis tells me it's airborne. I got it from the wind. You know, the before, before you me. came in, he said, oh, don't worry. You can't get this off, John. You know I'm sitting a foot to, more yes. to the right. I'm a germ probe. I almost called in sick because I know how yeah. you are. And and then he goes, oh, no, you can't catch it off a person. You yeah. can only, you are can, you it's, a little it's, free? What's your... it's airborne, he said. So, wait, wait, hold it. You can't catch it off a person. Right. It's airborne. It's like mold spores uh, so in the wind. Go, oh, okay. Yeah. It's like a fungus in the wind. And uh, what, where, what doctor told you this in town? Travis Fletcher behind, oh, the, behind the rig. Dr. Fletcher. Dr. Fletcher. Dr. Fletcher, room three. Yeah. 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 I'll be landing in Connecticut. He was going to chime uh, in, then he like opted out just now. Yeah. He got scared. He was like, ah, whatever. Forget these guys. He's like, we're just uninformed minions to him. <laughs> so anyway, that you know? was good. Um, yeah. That was a good, uh, good result. This weekend, they're in Perth, Australia. Okay. Uh, wh- which is where Josh Reddick hey, is playing baseball. Here. Okay. Uh, Yair? Perth. Yes, Yair yeah. Rodriguez is back. How come I don't uh, know the other guy? Four, four to one favorite. Um, Islam uh, John Malkovich, brother. So, yeah, he's he's kind of made a name for himself in the last uh, 18 months. Oh, okay. He's been mauling people. He's usually uh, a higher weight class, so he's he's going... Uh, <laughs> Robert, I'll take Volk and Emmett. Yeah. Both um, dogs. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. That, that, that's, I mean, uh, Volkanovski has you win not one, lost you get a money. fight in about 12 years. Get out of here. Yeah, he's only lost that's not one really fight. 12 years. Uh, Rob, back Even me up five on years. That. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I don't think he's lost a fight in. in and it, he's plus 310? Yes, and he's the current champ in his weight class. He's the current champ in Who's his weight class. Who's the other guy? The other guy, like McGregor or something? The like other guy, you know, these guys that come out of like Camp Khabib. Uh, they're all ah, monsters. All these the, Russian the guys, these Middle Eastern, and these Russian guys are monsters, man. Oh, on the oh, ground, oh, they drag oh, you down okay. the ground, and they just you're choke, right. Look at that. Ten life years. Out of you. Holy. God. His last loss was 2013. Yeah. So. And he's fought every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, he's unbelievable. Dana White said he's if, got a lot of candles if, on the If he cake. wins this fight, yeah, it's hard to say he's not the best to ever do it. Oh my I mean, god. It's it's one of those uh, situations. That's unbelievable. Yeah. But with that said, I don't think he can win this fight. Oh, oh! I wow. mean, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. It just depends, you know, if if Islam can can get him uh, get uh, Volkanovski to the ground, this can be a tough night for Volkanovski. But you know, all right. Be- before we go to any kind of plugs, I want to make sure we have. What do I you wrote got? down some stuff, some notes. Uh, player props unders. I mentioned that. Oh. So I put a tweet up this week. Oh, by the way, it's uh, it's from our show. The video was from our show, but then the tweet. Let's just read the tweet. Why? Why? why I'm just saying here that it's so irresponsible. Let's read the actual tweet. 
It was a video from, from last week's episode about not teasing the total in the NFL because I'm sick and tired of hearing people tell you to tease NFL totals. And, of course, the Super Bowl, there's no teasers without an NFL total. You have to tease the, the sides. I mean, so I wrote with the uh, – I copied and pasted – I'm sorry, I copied and re, when I retweeted with, with comments is the word I'm looking for. That's the proper okay. word. Please, please, please don't show respect or even waste time listening to any media source that tells you to tease totals. If they say this, then that tells me they will make many more mistakes down the line and misinform their audience. I can't begin to stress how much, how much misinformation is in sports betting media today. It's sickening. It's sickening that I have to listen to people that know nothing what they're talking about. That if they lost their job in media tomorrow, they may not be able to get a job mopping the floors in the sports book or the <laughs> casino they're in. So give me a break, all right? Know what you're talking about before you open your mouths. Elaborate on that. What do you? What? They're giving out stuff that's they get like teasing totals. Oh, I like the teasing the total here. You know, uh, teasing totals is a losing proposition. But they have nothing to talk about because they have no experience betting sports. They couldn't make their living betting sports. They don't even know what a positive EV thing is betting sports. But yet they want to spoo on it and talk about it. It just it gets me. It really irritates me so much because the gullible public's out there listening to these people. They look up to them. Oh, they must know something. They're in media. No. Most of them don't, and that's that. And that's that. Let me ask you this: uh, My beloved dentist, you know him. Yeah. Sent me a thing. He said this is a lock. There you go. Chiefs uh, alternate line. Chiefs plus seven and a half yeah. at minus three forty. That's why you're laying the three forty. Right. Sounds easy. Do you like a bet like that? Or yeah. If that... you if you lay a dollar twenty. <laughs> if you lay a dollar twenty <laughs> at three forty, it's just no. It's not worth it. Of course not. Of course not. And you don't think the Eagles? You don't think the Eagles come? Uh, you know, can win by ten? Of yeah, course they can. By ten, here's the number. Right. Yeah. Definitely can. How, all right. What, what about if? What about if? If uh, I'm even wrong and he's not 100 percent healthy, close to 100 percent, and he gets hurt, and he gets, and then you have, uh, you know, Chad Henney coming which on the who, first series. Yeah. Whatever. Right. You know, did he lose by more than seven and a half, Doc? I love you to death, Doc. By the way, <laughs> but um, you got to yeah. keep, keep my prices low. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I'm rooting for you. I'll tell you that I'm rooting for you. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> um, you make me laugh. Uh, well, listen. You've heard the words of wisdom from the crack man. If you guys are, this is the time of year. This is my favorite time of year. The no Bill Krakenberger. Let me tell you because the prop bets that he gets, that he gives out to his players. Uh, I don't know your record off the top of my head from last year or previous years or the last three years, but I know it's substantially uh, your win-loss ratio on prop bets is insane. Yeah, we're, it's we're, insane. We're going to beat the prop bets. I mean, we're going to win there. Um, you know, uh, I, I got to tell you, I, I probably should have done something. Um, I don't sell like a proposition package or something. I don't sell like that. That's not the what I do. You know, um, it's just not something and I. And you could probably. I probably make can make a lot more, mo more money. A lot more money. A two thousand dollar daily package. daily daily packages or right. daily. You things. don't do any of that because you I, have a monthly I, listen, and that's it's it. It's monthly. You want to go monthly. You want to show some time. You got to show. You know, listen. Any given week, I can lose. I'm normal. Right. But over time, I'm not going to. I never had a losing quarter, which means I'm never had a losing year. So, um, but yeah, no, we we have lots of prop stuff going on. Um, the last two weeks have been sick with, with props. Um, and, and I'm going to have a, I was worried about giving the public too many, about giving the, the customers too many. But I decided not to. This year, you guys are going to have 20 of them, by the way. Really? Yeah, maybe more. Maybe more. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm going to bet, be betting 100, but I like to give out <coughs> the top, the strongest ones. And I'm like, I, I push, not marginal, but you know, I push 1% edges rather than, than um, you know myself because of, I have a bankroll to do that. But if people don't, I'd rather give them the three percent plays or the four percent plays. I'd rather give them, and that that's a big number, by the way. That's a giant number. It's there is not plays like that really throughout the year, except for like, you know, maybe stuff that's that's that I really like, like the Banchero thing or yeah. stuff that I really have good info on. So, do you ever um, get uh, cases where people will email you and say like, "Crack, I was listening to the show. I heard you say you're going to bet a hundred. You only give out twenty. I want the other of 80 course. crack. What do we do?" Yeah, of course. No. And what the, do you do? You guys are getting the top. You, you, I'd rather have the, give them the top stuff. You know what I mean? Give out the stuff. So that even I, if they beg you and say, "Give me the other yeah. 80. 
No. You say no because it's no, too because risky. No, because the lines are probably gone. And you don't want to be and, too, and, I get and it. No, not too, too risky. The, the lines are probably gone. They're probably pr- uh, proprietary j- just to a certain sports book here in town. Like I just mentioned a couple that were only here. I couldn't find uh, them anywhere. I got it. So it's not fair to get, by the way, services do that. Right. They give out everything. They, they give they out found props something. That you can, good luck trying yeah, to get down on. Joe's sports book in Seattle, Washington right. has this up. Here's what I'm giving out. Right. It's the total fraud. And sometimes you'll fraudulent. hop on a plane and go fly to Yeah, a I'll place. bet it, but I'm not giving it out because you can't get it. It's not fair. I want right. to give you something that you can get at DraftKings, FanDuel, BetMGM, your local guy, uh, you know, these per head shops. I want to give something that's widely more widely available. Right. I'm not giving something that's just to that site. I hate when people do that. Right. Oh, bet this at BetMGM. And they give a line out that's just there at one sports book. That means one customer is going to get it. Right. It's bullshit. I yeah. hate it. Yeah, I hate, we hate when people do that. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So that that's what we got going on. Uh, Crackwins.com, Crackwins app, and and also um, it's you, not just football. Obviously, there's I want to tell you golf. something too. You can yeah, golf. It's golf, college basketball, full swing NBA stuff, PGA tour. Listen, um, you can register on the Crackwins app, Crackwins.com right now. You'll actually get a free month. Of our of our uh, membership, where you you know you're going to get a couple couple plays. I'm going to give you some plays there for free. Yeah. So it's like you get a little taste for nothing. Yeah, and know? that's awesome. It's like it, when you go to Catch's Deli in Newark, you get a little practice meet. <laughs> I have a friend that just went. Yeah, there the a little day. practice meet you get, and you get uh, a little practice meet here. You 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 raised a good point though. You know, you talked about how you don't sell a prop package. You also don't separate the sports that a lot of guys do. Meaning, you right? You're you're all inclusive, one price. Um. Yeah, no, we, we, we don't separate sports like right. So some guys. Here's my like, hockey package. Right, here's, here's my hockey package. Here's no, my baseball. Here's my football. On. Here's my basketball. It's all con stuff. I can't take it. Yeah. I, everyone. I mean, you're right though. See, see, you even know that without even. Right. You just know the business. It is. It's 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 really terrible. Um, it, it's a tough business. Before we go off, before we talk about WSN, it's uh, I think Robert wrote in here. Bet Fred will finally be open at the Virgin. Wow, Robert. Wow. I didn't know that. Is that a fact? Because I didn't know Beth Fred was opened yet. I it's walked, an eyesore. I walked in through there, there about two weeks ago. Giant sports book in the middle of the place. It's Not giant, a but it's joke. a joke. It's a. It's actually a boutique, but it's cool. It's a nice. It's a nice place to nice watch a place game. To watch a it game. would be great if you could place a bet. Can't place a bet. And I'm for sure two years they've been open. They follow me on on Twitter. I'm dying to see if they take a bet from me now. But wow, they're going to finally be open. I wonder when. I don't know the date, but. That's something we can Google search. You guys is any search. of the guys that work there same guys from when it was a Hard Rock? Or oh, no? I don't know. Probably not. No, probably not. Probably not. That was your spot back in the day. The I hard loved rock. the Hard Rock. That was my place to go. I loved it. They had they were real accommodating. There was just a great great spot to watch a game, and they had a little VIP area. Uh, but the Bet Fred a, a, has some nice seats too. It's cool in there. So yeah, That'll are you excited fun. about Mirage becoming Hard Rock? Yeah, I sure. Think, any I think other it's a, new a sports good change? Book? Any other new sports book? Uh, new, I shouldn't say new sports book. I don't know who's going to be booking in there right now, unless it is the Hard Rock. There is a Hard Rock company that books right. in Seven Jersey. Seminole Hard Rock, right? Yeah. Or- so I'm hoping I'm hoping there's going to be a new sports book there. But any new casino with new opportunities, and maybe they'll be buying some business and stuff. Anything like that's good for uh, positive EV gambling and uh, competition is good. It's unusual. It's the opposite. All these places were closing down and giving me less opportunities to bet and stuff. Let me. Speaking of which. What about that big blue eyesore down the strip there? I heard they're going to be opening uh, or, the fountain or, blue or real or you know that yeah because this is by the way it's got to be at least ten maybe more more than ten years. But, I mean it's crazy. Yeah, maybe twelve thirteen years has been there and now I oh. drove by it and they're doing work everywhere on it. So obviously really yes it's getting close doing work and there was construction guys everywhere there. So obviously they're getting ready to 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 come back into the the, the game because. They were out of the game so much they sold all the furniture. It never opened, by the way, but they had furniture in all the rooms. They were they were like ninety wow. percent ready, and they uh, sold all their furniture to a casino, um, and that was like five more than that about seven years ago. I know Carl Icahn bought them, and so crazy. I don't know who owns them now, but they're uh, I think they're opening too. So competition is good because, like I said, it was yeah. all swallowed up by these other yeah. bit, bit by MGM and Caesar swallowed up all these other casinos, and it's bad, bad for. Bad for you guys. Bad yeah. for me. Bad for you guys. The more casinos, the more competition, the better it is for the player. And um, what's going on across from Win? That empty parking lot. That or yeah, not a parking lot, but dirt lot. But it looks like that Win might own that, and they're going to build know. something. Are they really? I don't. I don't know. I know um, Resorts World is over there. You're saying next to Resorts World. Yes. Though. 
Oh, I think I, I know where you mean, but I just don't right. know what's. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. They're going to be doing something there. I'll tell you why. I was in the wind twice this week. Jesus, it never ceases to amaze me. I the wind it. is so nice. It's so nice. I went to their their. I'm going to call it their coffee shop. I know a lot of kids out there. You guys don't. I say kids under 35 don't know what a coffee shop is. Yeah, that's all. This, yeah, coffee shop right there. Starbucks. They don't really like coffee shop is a 24 hour, you know, a deli yeah. uh, restaurant that you can you can eat. Oh, they have theirs. It's called the Terrace Point Cafe, I think it is. Yeah, I miss the deli though. It's that was overlooking there. the deli. Yeah, the was deli so was good. great. Zuzu crackers, right? Yeah, it was over. <laughs> but but, the, but the, this one's overlooking the pool. Oh my God, just trust me on this. Get the blueberry pancakes. Some of the best in town. Wait, Sick. the one that's overlooking the pool is that Jardine? Jardine? No, no, no. This is, uh, I think it's called the Terrace Point Cafe. Oh, okay. I know what you it's mean. At the, at the right, right, right. Yeah. You got the buffet on one side. It's yep. kind of catty corner to the yep. buffet. Beautiful, beautiful. Good view. Uh, outside. Yeah. There's outdoor seating and yep. there's indoor seating. The indoor by the window, I sat yesterday by myself. It was so calm. Sometimes I like doing that, John, by yeah. myself. Does that make any sense? No, I get like it. Like going by yourself it's without, nice. no, you know, even the wife or the girl. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's I mean, I usually try to keep my wife and my girl separate anyway. anyway. But <laughs> no, but isn't it nice to have that situation where you just sometimes I'll tell you what, I don't mind driving like to L.A. or San Diego by myself. Me clear. I went one time literally to uh, L.A. and never turned the radio on. I can't even believe my brain was just thinking so many thoughts. It was such clear. It's like almost like Jim Morrison when he used to like, you know, do some mushrooms and uh, yeah. go to uh, what's that place in Palm Springs? What's it called? Uh, I forget. Anyway, just like you know, and just like go with like psychedelic. It was just so yeah. windows open, clearing. Um, just just really a mind altering thing. Yeah. Sometimes you got to yeah. get out, get out of your zone. I, I really can't do that till after March Madness, though. Yeah, my, my brain just doesn't slow down and too stop. much going on. Yeah, too much betting going wise. On. Yeah, let's talk about WSN because before we Go went ahead. on air, I mentioned something here. I mean, yeah. this three thousand bucks. God. All right, let, hold on. Let, let, I'll get to that in a second. Let, let's go over the whole site. But um, so WSN, WSN.com, they have such great articles up this week. Again, they they put up since the sixth, which was only a couple days ago. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine articles, and no one does that. There's no one on the net. I challenge anyone to put nine articles up. Um, it's more than that, actually, now that I went to the next page. Um, but, yeah, so so there's um, the latest sports book promos and promo codes. The articles I'm talking about are about the Super Bowl. Lots of articles on the Super Bowl. Um, the, the, pr the promo codes for gambling is a whole other section, a whole other section on NBA. Uh, by the way, we didn't talk about Le LeBron's behind you. I'll leave him behind you because I, I I don't even. I'm not oh, my God. I can't believe he's behind I'm me. I'm not a LeBron fan. I can't stand LeBron. Oh, really? Who, your, your, your assistant put that in here. I don't know what yeah. that's but doing But he did there. beat. He did pass the record last night. All right. Night. Props yeah. to him. Good yeah. for him. No, I'm not. A, I'm not a, I just think that LeBron had a great opportunity to, to mend relationships with people. I agree. And bring, you know, kids and stuff, and he didn't do it, and it kind of upset him. He's a divider. He's a divider. That's yeah. what he is. Yeah. Um, New York, uh, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. All these sports betting bonuses and codes are on uh, on this section of the site, and that's what I was talking about. Literally, as you'll see, I'm going to turn this to John. I mean, I like the way they broke it down this week. WSN did a great job on this, by the way. Each state: New York, wow. six thousand seven hundred and fifty; uh, Arizona, forty two hundred and free bonuses. Like, there's a lot of really good bonuses. Ohio, Ohio's a big state right now for sports betting. Um, let me just say, um, should I say it? Yes, I'm going to tell you. You can click on this, and there's Ohio sports betting bonuses on there. That even if you're a customer, existing customer, you signed up in a different state, you're going to get them again. Being in Ohio, so they're, 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 that's. I'll let you guys figure out the rest of that. Um, but yes, so I'm going to click on New York, and I click on New York. I'm like, wow, that seems like a lot. But then it's not because BetMGM gives you a thousand dollar bet offer, twelve fifty in Caesars. So the FanDuel one that's on here, it's a no sweat bet for up to three thousand dollars. Listen, if you have the money, no. you, you should do this one for the full three thousand. Don't just put three hundred in, right? And then if you have the money, because you're only going, it's it's a three one time. It's a three three thousand bucks. So I, I would do that. Go but, big or go home. DraftKings thousand uh, bucks. Win Rivers. It goes on and on and on. By the way, I'm just mentioning New York. It's every single jurisdiction. I click on New Jersey. That's the same exact bonus. FanDuel, wherever they are nationwide, is having this three thousand dollar Super Bowl bonus, which is and that's three k that you have to bet on one you, bet. You, or yeah, you, you, yes, it's your first bet. Okay, that's your what I'm saying first you should bet, bet it. Three grand. Yeah, you should bet and it. You should pick a, you, a dog, you, right? You or know, least... if you have the money to do it, 
mathematically, you're supposed to pick something like plus 130, 150, or even right. better. Yeah, you should. Maybe you should go with even uh, you know a money line on something in the Super Bowl. Something, but you have to make it's your first bet. So make sure that you're taking advantage of that uh, full 3,000. Because if you bet only 400 on something, then bet 2,000, it's only going to be the 400. So, right. uh, they're, so they're all on there. All those great bonuses, WSN negotiates for you. I say it. WSN, you can get better bonuses at some of these places here. They have negotiated better bonuses than going to the actual sites or doing a Google search. So, and then let me ask you this. If yep. you bet the three grand on something yep. and you win... Can you That's withdraw yours. that whole three grand yes. right then? Yes. Or you do have to bet a certain amount. No, no. You could scam them just like that. Oh, wow. Sorry. No, scam's a strong word. I'm not Because some that. sites, they won't let you. No, you have to roll it over. You but you roll are over. rolling. You're betting a once. You're doing a one-time roll. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, so that's a good, good question, though. Yeah. The latest wise crack pods. All of our podcasts are on here. So WSN.com. The next section of course, is the U.S. sports betting news, which I love. Articles on, on California, Texas, places that don't have the sports betting. Um, just to find out what's going on there. There's an article about New York that's on here. And even though I didn't read this one, I know what it is. It's this un unsustainable 51% tax rate that <laughs> the state is getting, which equaled hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars for New York uh, last year. It's like the best thing they ever did. 51%. It's the best thing Some they ever Some states like, here, yeah, they start charging 9%, 11%, 51% of the money. Um, but it is the number one state for sports betting, too, volume-wise. So when you say 51, yes, it's 51% of the dollars. But if you say how much money you made in that state compared to, let's say, uh, Indiana or something or a different state, it may equal so much more that it makes up for that 51% yeah. worth it given. But the, the companies are still fighting now. Now they're saying this is ridiculous. We can't pay this much. We can't stay in business. You know, so anyway. Let me ask you, for years, the argument Vegas would give as to why they didn't want sports betting legal anywhere else but Las Vegas was because it was going to take away from them. Yet we've seen record months it here. Do you think they're kicking themselves, saying like, oh, my no. God, what were we doing no, all this time? No, I, I just think they didn't realize that they were going to make – they're making so much more money. It introduces sports betting to so many more people right. that never bet sports more before. More degenerates Now they nationwide. come to town and say, oh, my God, we can go to Vegas. Let's, let's go to – this is one more excuse to go to Vegas, not just right. the pools, the weather. Let's see if we can bet sports there. Um, so it's not – but – I don't know if that's so much the case when California gets it. When California gets sports because betting. too close to home. Too, a little too close to home. I think, it, by the way, people don't know this. California, all those beach towns from, you know, the bottom of San Diego to the top of the state and pe way past San Fran, I can't tell you how much money has been, is being bet illegally in those beach towns. Oh, my God, there's bookmakers everywhere. This, sh this actually surprised me. Um, so, um, what I'm trying to say is California is a sports betting state. And when we get uh, California, legalization in California, yes, it'll cut into those illegal bookmakers. But, again, you'll probably find that same crowd that never bet sports being introduced to it because it's so fan-friendly to bet at these big, you know, um, draft goal, DraftKings, FanDuel, MGM, all these right. big spots that, um, you know, are, are going to be doing advertising. We'll, we'll see. And the Indians want their share, of course. The Indian casinos – uh, want their share, and that's the reason why that Proposition 2627 uh, did not pass this year. So, But uh, I think that wraps it up. I'm uh, going to be getting out of here. All right. Uh, we'll see you next next week. I'll uh, I'll be on uh, verbally. Do you want me to give you one Super Bowl prediction? Sure. You can bury some people. Are, are Go you going to be mad if I say Chiefs are going to win? No, of course not. Chiefs win by six. Okay, good. You by heard six. By no, six. I, 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 that's the Orlando happen. line. Crack. All right. Chiefs by six. All right, you guys know what to do. <laughs> See you next week.